All right, you ready? You ready? It's easy. All right. Quick topic for microtransactions. Uh, mindless man thingy. Bro. Phone. Okay. So, we hate microtransactions. Yep. Explain. Well... Yeah, you first uh, pick solid. Um, well, honestly, they just ruin most games when they're in the... In, um, in, unless they're well implemented and they're not jarring and just terrible, then they just ruin a game for me. Yeah, like, think about this. You bought a game, you paid $60, fuck yeah, you play it for a couple of weeks, ooh, DLC, pay more, bitch. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Pay, pay, DLCs and microtransactions are just because the company wants more money if... If it's a game that's given to you for free, like the Mario Run, you have you get a couple of levels to keep you a taste, and then you got to purchase the rest of it. It may not be a lot of money, but it may still it's still money. Money is money. Money is money. I don't want to. Give... Games are for free. Yes, yeah, so remember to give Nintendo all of your money. Money, money, money. Um, like for for example, TF2, um, microtransactions for all the hats and costumes and stuff. It's not like up in your face telling you to oh buy this, buy this. It's just. Pun? I remember the days where you'd have to print the cheat codes out, now you have to buy them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what about, um, what was it they were talking about before? Payday? Um, Payday. Um, Overkill, pr the people who make Payday promised never to add microtransactions and then add in microtransactions. Um, Steve here can elaborate on what happened. Oh god, yeah. Basically, um, CSGO co uh, case opening, very similar to that, except shitter. So basically, everything that you'd unbox would give you something shit. You would about, you would be like, oh yeah, I'm about to get the rare scan in the game, and then 10 seconds later, the game glitches and pushes the line closer to the unrare gun, which you'll get another five times during the day. Um, also, for example, CSGO has added in gloves. Then, yeah. oh. Ooh, gloves. Really? Better than gloves. Yes, it's a shooter, um, modern shooter. I know what CSGO is. Yeah, like. <laughs> We're just trying to elaborate, man. We're if you don't know what Counter Strike level offensive is, you, you probably just don't play video games. Yeah, you, do, you don't deserve video games. Well, or you they, don't had, they had guns that you can buy and like gamble and stuff, and now they've added in special gloves that look pretty, and that's it. Yeah, like it's but so again, like, that's some, exactly like the hats in TF2. They just they look pretty. Some of them are worth over three thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! I mean, yeah. just, there are skins in games like Dota and shit that are worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, and same. It's with like, it. why? It's just a little piece of texture. It's just ones and zeros. Exactly. Just, just like anime. <laughs> just like your it's anime just, girlfriend. It's not just real. like paying for your anime girlfriend. It's not worth it. That's a bad microtransaction. Pay. <laughs> You also become a weeb, which is not good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. You end yeah. up, like, offing yourself. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, like, microtransactions are not good, especially when you promise not to get them and then you get um, them. Um, are there any microtransactions that are actually worth it, though? Um, um, some of them, you have to weigh up the prices. For example, James Black 47, he does weigh up the prices for Payday 2. He will tell you the best answer, and sometimes General McFadden. But is it worth it? Maybe. Sometimes you think you're paying four ninety nine for, like, a skin and a character that says a bunch of things, and a gun, and a couple masks. Yeah, I mean, I think I've heard that the Pokemon game that you only have to pay like ten to fifteen dollars for the rest of the game. Oh yeah. It's like you get like the first three levels uh, standard, and then you get the rest of the game for free. You, you, you like, mean Mario, not Pokemon? What did I say? I said Pokemon. Okay. You said Mar I meant Mario. Okay. Uh, Mario Go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Mario you Run. Pokemon Go now doesn't Mario Go. Jesus. Right. No, it's just Mario Run, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but Mar it's, it's, it's pretty decent. Oh, okay. God, my neck is killing me today. Um, but yeah, it's, it's some some games are sometimes worth it, I guess. Yeah, some, most not. But I mean, some games that you literally have to pay for, and then you've got to pay microtransactions to get that stuff in, end up becoming free later on. Yeah. There are a lot of games that I've seen um, on Steam which have just gone from like 60 bucks with like $20 worth of extra stuff, and then it goes all the way down to zero. Like, um, Evolve like, used to be, like, a triple-A game with microtransactions, and now it's completely free because no one was playing it, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And, they like... They got memes. Hmm? They got memes really bad. They got yeah, memes. They got memes way too hard. Yes. Yeah. And look at games like, uh, what else has a lot of DLC in it? Like, what's an infamous... Oh, fucking Clash of Clans. Oh, oh 
Oh no, that's only microtransactions. There's no game. Look at typical Clash Royale YouTube. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy 50 million gems. Yeah, boy. But like, yeah, microtransactions are crappy. Don't yes, do that. So them. in summary, only give your money to Nintendo. They deserve everything. Yes. Oh, hello, Nintendo. This has oh, been Pixel. Oh, hello, Nintendo. Steve Brawl. Mindless man. Pixel. Mindless, mindless, whatever. Pink away. Thanks for watching. Everyone also have to pay $2 to watch this video. Yeah, so you also have to pay an extra $2 to watch the rest of the series. Good luck with that. Give me money! Um...